Hi, my name is Anna. I'm a surgery assistant here at Dove Lewis, and today we're going to be loading and operating our gas sterilizer. The load of items that I want to be wrapped, um, you want to make sure that you wrap them according to your hospital's uh, protocol. Um, typically, we wrap um, things that cannot be steamed um, due to the high heat, so plastics, um, things with batteries, um, other things that just can't, won't be able to make it through the autoclave. I have um, the dosimeter that will let, let me know that the um, load that I have run is in fact sterile. I have a humidity chip. Um, humidity is very important to the sterilization process when you're using ethylene oxide, so I have one chip here. And then I have my ampule that contains the ethylene oxide um, that will actually sterilize uh, the items that I have wrapped here. So I'm going to turn the sterilizer on. Um, and I'm going to open um, the sterilizer here and I can start loading my equipment. And the first thing I'll do is I'll open up my bag. I wanna make sure that I use a clean bag every single time, a new bag, um, just in case the previous bag had a puncture or something in it. I just wanna make sure every time I run a load, I'm using a fresh bag. So I'll put that in here and then I can start to load my items into the bag. And then I can start to add um, the, th the things that I need. So I can open up my humidity chip. And I'll put that in the bag. And then I'll add my dosimeter. And I'll put that in there. And I wanna move the ampule to the center of the bag just by pushing it like that. And then I can, last thing is I'm gonna put this in the bag I'm not going to um, open the ampule yet, so I do that by breaking the tab off the end. I'm going to wait until the sterilizer is closed um, and the bag is purged uh, before I do that. Um, so I'm going to leave the ampule on top um, so I have access to it um, so I can open it through the bag. Um, the next thing I'll do is I'll hit start. Then I will enclose um, the top of the bag around the vacuum, like so. And then I will hit purge on the sterilizer and that will remove all of the air in the bag Okay, so now that all of the air has been purged from the bag, um, what I'm gonna do is I'll bring the bag out here and I can see my ampule is sitting here on the top of the bag. I'm gonna feel for the tab on the end and I'm just gonna break it just like that and I can feel that it got very, very cold so that I know that it broke. Um, and then I can go ahead and I'll push this bag in here. I'll close the door, make sure it's locked. And now I can go ahead and select the cycle that I would want to choose. Um, so for this cycle, I have chosen um, a 12-hour cycle. You can also choose a 24-hour cycle if you would like. 24-hour cycles I typically use when I'm running um, quite a few items. Things with uh, more plastic content, so if I'm running oxygen tubing or something, I will run a 24-hour cycle. Or if I'm sterilizing our internal paddles for defibrillation, I will run those on a 24-hour cycle. If I'm doing that, I just want to make sure that I'm using two ampules and two humidity chips um, versus just one ampule and one humidity chip for a 12-hour cycle. So the last thing that I want to do is record on our log here um, the date and the time that I started the cycle um, and the time and the date that I anticipate the cycle to be finished. So I'm running a 12-hour cycle, um, but at the end of every cycle there is a two-hour ventilation time. So really every cycle um, is 14 hours. So 14 hours from now I anticipate the cycle to be finished. Um, so I will write this on our log here. Whoever unloads um, the cycle will initial that they unloaded it, whether or not it was okay. Um, they'll know it's okay by reading the dosimeter. Um, and then they will write um, the time that they anticipate the aeration time to be completed. So aeration time is completed 24 hours after the cycle has finished. And that's how we operate our gas sterilizer here at Dove Lewis.